go and um, you know I had a sat phone where I was sending tweets back on it and stuff like that so so I had that on my mind I wasn't thinking poly poly the group was rushing every day to camp I don't know why we were rushing to get to camp like you, camp's boring you get to camp and then you don't do anything you just set you set up and stay there <laughs> yeah you just sit around for seven hours on a mountain before <laughs> before bedtime bored out of your mind so I was like why are we rushing like let's enjoy the journey not the, yeah. you know not the destination yeah. and so you know, anyway, we were hiking, and we got through a section, and I was taking big lunging steps, and my legs started to get tired. You burn oxygen, not mm. the short um, rest stepping that they teach you to do, where you kind of lock your knee for a microsecond on each step, and that gives you this micro break that allows your muscles over a long time to recover. Okay. So I wore myself out. I did everything I was trained not to do, but I did it, Yeah. you know, and so... I, I barely, I don't remember getting into camp. There's videos of it. Um, oh. Our porters are singing in Swahili. You know, they have this song like, Jumbo, Jumbo Buana, yeah. Habari Gani, Nzuri Sana. So, you know, I can hear that, and it's echoing off, off the caves. And so I sort of hear that. Eddie, who's our guide, is right in front of me. I'm just following his footsteps. I'm looking down. And, yeah. You know, I can barely breathe. I'm dying from the heat. You know, I've drank six liters of water that day, and I just can't function. And, uh... I remember just getting there, sitting down. I cried. I cried for a while. And then they got me into the tent. And, you know, I was scared I wasn't going to be able to finish the climb. And mm -hmm. I, for nine months, so publicly talked about what my goal was. Yeah. And I felt like I was going to let the entire world down. And, you know, they put me on oxygen in the tent. And that oh, got is that my, bad, eh? Oh, yeah. They put me on oxygen, got my levels up. You know, they gave me this mint, mint tea with, like, tons of sugar in it. You know, warmed me up a little bit. And, um... You know, and then I just ate as much as I could. You lose your appetite, but mm, I ate sure. as much as I could. And they said, look, you got a decision to make in the morning. I said, you know, we'll test your oxygen in the morning and we'll decide what happens. And then you make the call whether you're going up or down. Wow. So what was, so I, obviously they gave you the green light medically. Yeah. Um, was it an easy decision for you or was it tough? It was, that's where I talked about learning mental toughness. Mm. That was, I was scared. I was scared because like, you know, I had young kids and my wife's back home and, you know, and I'm running all the social media off all the satellite stuff and I'm like, well, I'm going to let everybody down and, you know, and, but then I'm like, but I'm doing this for my dad. Like, you know, and like, you know, if he were here with me, he would say like, you know, you can do it. Keep going. Just go slowly. And, you know, my oxygen came up to about 85, 84 mm -hmm. um, that morning, so still low. Mm -hmm. And the plan that day was to go from 13,000 feet up to 15,000 feet, mm -hmm. but then come back down to 13,000 feet or 12,005 to sleep that night. So I said to them, I go, is there any way I can get to the next camp without having to go all the way up to 15? And they said, there is a bit of a cut around, you know. So why are you going up and coming back down? To acclimatize. Oh. To acclimatize. So it's part okay. of the acclimatization plan. You mm -hmm. always sleep lower than your highest walking point in the day. Ah. So I said, I'll do it. They gave me my own porter or my own guide to lead with me. So I didn't go with the other three groups. I went with my own guide. His name is Oreo. Mm -hmm. Amazing guide. And they sent both medical doctors with me. Oh, wow. We had two medical doctors with us. Yeah. So the four of us, um, you know, set out and we, you know, kind of went to where everyone kind of went up to the peak, but then we cut across and down. Um, hardest day of my life. I walked incredibly slow that day. Everybody else beat us to camp, even though they went up and down. Yeah. But I got to camp and that got me to sleep at the same altitude for a second night. My body started to catch up. Okay. You know, and so I wasn't as bad, but I spent the next couple of days hiking in my own group with my own guide not with the rest of the folks and, mm -hmm. you know so getting into camp an hour after everybody eating lunch alone you know those kind of things yeah but wow uh, so you mentally you're hiking for six seven hours a day and you know you 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 just dig deep and you you know you figure it out 